Don't plan visiting Europe without watching this amazing towns. For every Paris, Rome, and London, there are hundreds of small European towns that capture the spirit of their particular nation. After watching this video, you wish you had watched it before visiting Europe. If you want to see a bunch of the most beautiful small towns in Europe, watch this video till the end. We will show you 10 of the most incredible and amazing towns in Europe that surprise you. We have published two other videos about 42 other beautiful towns in Europe, and we show you 10 more in this video. Let's start with our amazing list. Number 10, Rovinj, Croatia. Located in Northwest Croatia, on the Istrian Peninsula, the Venetian-era seaside town of Rovinj is made up of pastel-colored houses ringing a pretty fishing harbor, and presided over by a hilltop church with an elegant bell tower. Besides the nearby pebble beaches, the main tourist attraction is the Batana Eco Museum on the seafront, which tells the story of the Batana, a type of wooden boat used by local fishermen. There are also plenty of top-rated hotels, upmarket seafood restaurants, and art galleries to explore. The locals speak a dialect that mixes both the Croatian and Italian languages. The nearest airport is in Pula. Watch Adventure Travel Channel to get inspired for your upcoming trip, or just travel virtually around the world. We show you the beauty of the world. Number 9, Castellabate, Italy. The town seems to bask in the sun as it lays itself out on the hillside facing the sea. Its beauty, history and location have put it on the list as a UNESCO heritage site, as well as naming it one of most beautiful villages in Italy. It is also consistently on the Bandiera Blue list, which designates the cleanest beaches in the country. Castellabate is actually more than one town, it also takes in the seaside towns of Santa Maria di Castellabate, San Marco di Castellabate, and Ogliastro Marina. These villages on the bay offer golden sand beaches, and nice atmosphere. There are fabulous seafood restaurants, gelaterias, and piazzas for enjoying drinks outside. The lighthouse at Punta Lacosa is a nice hike from San Marco. This coastline was mentioned by Homer in his epic novel, The Odyssey. Number 8, Bonifacio, France Few towns can boast such a dramatic, seemingly precarious position as Bonifacio. Teetering perilously atop an eroding limestone promontory that juts out into the sea, east to west, for around 1.5 kilometers, it has to be seen to be believed. This jaw-dropping context is not, however, Bonifacio's only attraction. Panoramically speaking, Bonifacio is extraordinary, 360-degree vistas take in Corsica's coastline, vast swathes of the Tyrrhenian Sea and, 12 kilometers to the south, the neighboring island of Sardinia. Once you've taken in Bonifacio's position and views, it's time to explore the town's many other charms. The Vieville is located in a 9th-century citadel, whose fortified walls lend the town an aura of impregnability. The old center has been lovingly restored in recent times, and offers visitors a fascinating and gently bustling maze of streets, and alleyways to explore. Number 7, Alberabello, Italy. Alberabello, in the region of Puglia in southern Italy, is a strange and picturesque destination which is becoming an important fixture on the travel itineraries of tour operators as well as independent travelers. The small town has been made a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its unusual districts of Trulli, the characteristic whitewashed conical roofed houses of the area. It makes an interesting day trip destination or a pleasant base for a few days, especially if you stay in a Trullo of your very own. The principal tourist activity in Alberabello is wandering around looking at Trulli. There are also a handful of small museums, and plenty of opportunities for buying kitsch souvenirs, and tasting local products. The center of Alberabello is mostly composed of typical small-town Italian streets and buildings, with a few Trulli interspersed among the buildings in a surreal fashion. Some older back streets are lined chiefly with residential Trulli. The most picturesque parts of Alberabello, 
though, and the strangest, are the two areas composed almost entirely of truly, over a thousand of them. Here the little white pointy top dwellings are clustered together like a hobbit town. Number 6, Bruges, Belgium. What could be more romantic, and inspiring than a place that looks like a backdrop for a fairy tale? The medieval overtones of Bruges cobblestone streets lead to countless historical, architectural and artistic wonders. Marvel at ornate houses lining intricate canals, and understand why this is a favorite destination for all types of travelers. The whole city emanates an appreciation of the past, a love of the present, and enthusiasm for the future. Don't miss Hof Bladelin, Groening Museum, Church of Our Lady, and Belfry and Market Halls. Number 5, Umdina, Malta. Malta's capital city of Valletta isn't exactly huge, with a population under 6,000 and an area smaller than Central Park. But if you want to go even smaller, head to the fortified city of Umdina in the center of the island nation. Malta's old capital has extraordinary examples of medieval and Baroque architecture, with churches, catacombs, and palaces open for visitors to explore. The city boasts a bit of pop culture fame as well. It served as the filming location for the entrance to King's Landing in the first season of Game of Thrones. Number 4, Pula, Croatia. Pula is situated at the southern tip of the Istrian peninsula and is the area's largest city. Located beneath seven hills, and with views of the Adriatic, Pula's unspoiled natural surroundings are magical. Known for its mild climate and tame, beautiful sea, Pula also has a long tradition of winemaking, fishing and shipbuilding. It is also home to many ancient Roman buildings, including the well-preserved, magnificent amphitheater. Number 3, Vernazza, Italy. The small fishing village Vernazza is probably the most characteristic of the Sancte Terre and is classified as one of the most beautiful villages in Italy. Vernazza was founded about 1000 A.D. and was ruled by the Republic of Genoa starting in 1276. The medieval castle, Belforte, was built in the mid-1500s, primarily to protect the village from pirates. An ideal way to arrive to this breathtaking village is by sea. The tiny port is surrounded by subtle colorful pastels and the charming piazza is lined with good restaurants. The village is surrounded by very steeply terraced olive groves which are said to produce among the finest olive oil in the country.
Number 2, Kotor, Montenegro. At turns reminiscent of Norwegian fjords and Lake Como, the Bay of Kotor is lined with ancient, picturesque towns, including its namesake. Backed by steep limestone cliffs, Kotor's UNESCO protected old town draws visitors for its scenic location, but also for its history. Getting lost here is not only encouraged, but expected. Centuries ago, old Kotor was built like a maze to confuse invaders. Number 1, Flam, Norway. Undoubtedly one of Europe's most beautiful cruise ports, the tiny village of Flam welcomes ships passing through western Norway's vast Sognefjord. The town is scattered with boldly colored houses and surrounded by unblemished green hills, but it's perhaps best known for housing Flamspanna, the world's steepest railway. Hop on the train in Flam, which will take you past waterfalls and snow-capped peaks to the summit of Myrdal Mountain. Watch Adventure Travel Channel to get inspired for your upcoming trip, or just travel virtually around the world. We show you the beauty of the world, 